Hey there everybody, this is Nicole Universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experience and today we're gonna to talk about how do I learn languages. I know a little bit of English, of Russian, also Spanish, German and Indonesian and also I learn uh, Latin and also Greek to understand some terms because you understand that everything in Spanish and uh, German and uh, this European languages they are from Latin and Greek and also from these languages, yes, and uh, if you understand understand the prepositions, if you understand the suffixes and things of this nature, endings of words, then you can easily to understand them, because it is rootiness of them. And it is, by the way, one of the routines that routines that you can use. You can learn roots of words, it is super important. If you understand roots, they are really the same. If we will use in function, word function, yes, we have in, in English language, in Russian language it is funkce, in, in Indonesian it will be funksi, also it will be funksiones or something like this in Spanish and also funksionen, it will be in German. And if you understand the root of it, then you can kind of guess already what it means. It is the first, first thing that you need to use. It is learning roots and the roots are from Latin and from Greek. And also what the approach do I use? It is by writing on my keyboard the second. We will talk about three different concepts that I use use uh, to learn languages. First, it is root learning. Second, it is I type on my on my keyboard. And uh, it is kind of nobody almost uses this uh, type of uh, type of learning. And uh, I didn't hear, hear it from anyone, but I use it uh, as uh, maybe some of the geek or something. I will tell you what do I do. I take my keyboard and I start to write like Kalima, Kalimantan or maybe Kalinka Malinka, yes, <laughs> Malinka or maybe I can write something. I can write something and I can write any, any way, anyhow and uh, <laughs> any words I can type on it and while I typing I kind of pronounce them inside of me. It is like reading but creating by your own. It is uh, the attempt that I what it is the tool that I ki highly recommend to use to you no not everybody will use it I understand it because uh, everybody kind of can find oh need to read books to understand things and need to do this but I found this concept from writing I started to write uh, books uh, like in 2019 and I was doing writing on my paper firstly on paper you can do too uh, it is kind of creating of words and then I started to type and when I started to type I understood that it is the same and you understand them better and uh, when you are going to the streets you kind of remember that you are doing it it is kind of playing on an instrument of a music instrument you sometimes play and you understand what you played like uh, notes and maybe your positions of your hands and uh, you are associating your positions your some of the functions of your brain of motor motor cognitions you associate it with it and it is first and second you associate it with in inner voice. I don't know how it works in your way, but in many cases when people type they kind of pronounce the words inside of them. If you can do this, it is the the tool, it is extremely tool useful useful tool for you. You kind of type and then you pronounce what you type inside of your head and you repeat words and it is really highly highly good tool. And you kind of type everything from random words like you are improvising. Play a game, you you need to write only words that are not repetitive. Like you started to write, uh, for example, JavaScript, C++, C Sharp. Also, you can write something like interpolation, LERP, skew. Also, some of the Fourier transformation, fast Fourier transformation, and others. And not repeat every every type of concepts that you wrote. And then you kind of understand that your vocabulary kind of expanding. And it is one of the ways. And I learned it. Uh, I learned right now many languages through this concept. I, sometimes I change the understandability, I mean that the keys, the beans that I put inside of my head, I, I will tell you. Sometimes I can write in English, it will be a kind of uh, hello everybody, what's new in your whole universe? And I can write it in English, and also I can write it in, uh, for example, Indonesian. And C let letter will be for Ch, and it will be Hello Timan, Apa Kabar, Kabar Baik, 
Chantik done uh, and uh, etc. I can write it in Indonesian and also in in uh, Spanish. And when I type on Spanish, then hola will be without h. And it is kind of rules of pronunciation. You need to learn rules of pronunciations of language, and then you can type it. It is kind of playing the musical instrument when you change a key. If you have have ever played musical instrument, what is the change of the key? Change of the key, it is when you play it in one tonality and then you are playing in another. Look, it is one tonality, it is another. It is kind of different changes of sounds. Yes, you understand. And the same with uh, this. You firstly was using C for letter on this screen. For example, we will call it <laughs> the the button number one. The number one, uh, number one with the sound of C. And then you kind of rewire it with, an, with a letter of CH. C right now can mean C or CH. And before you start, you kind of change it as uh, you are learning new language. And if I will speak in Russian, I will tell you something like Я могу говорить по-русски. And I said right now, I can speak in Russian. It is uh, what I said. And uh, I kind of changed my positions of uh, of pronunciation too. My kind of uh, palate and also touching of my tongue and inner voice it is changing and thinking process is changing and actually when you type you are changing your thinking process it is uh, you rewire it next what could you use it is create youtube channel really it helps it really helps why do i learn why do i record sometimes videos <laughs> about different cultures because oh jesus christ because i want to i want to improve uh, i want to know more about uh, cultures it is first and uh, because uh, we are all human and it is interesting to connect to each other it's first reason. And second, because I want to learn English and cultural things in this nature. Because I mean that if you learn about culture, then you understand the language of this group. In Russian language, we have the sayings that if you know the, your own culture, then you kind of learn the language. Because if all, all the things of the language and... Uh, for example, French or maybe something else uh, or Russian language, they have their cultural words. And if, if you understand cultural words, uh, cultural inventions, uh, cultural maybe cities, how do they name it, then you understand the, how, how they think and how they use words in what type of context. It is kind of learning the idioms. It is not a level of uh, beginner level of learning. It is highly like uh, n new new level of learning i hope that you understand it it is when you learn not simply roots but actually the whole concepts of the culture and it is learnable by the by the facts of culture by the comedy by the movies by the things it is actually history it is more about history and geography and things of this nature i like to do this and also maybe bonuses right now will 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 occur for you <laughs> the three we said already how to learn it it is uh, by first it is uh, by uh, <laughs> what i was saying first i okay i was saying about keyboard first tool we were speaking about it is like uh, Re ah, roots. Roots were first. Roots were first from Greek and Latin. They are all in every language. Or maybe from religious things too. They are coming. Like for example, all the Arabic and all the, all the East languages, they are kind of uh, Muslim and Islam and uh, I mean that uh, Hind Hindi, I, I'm not into religious fully, but uh, kind of, you know, that we can whole groups of uh, like view of the world we will call it view of the world and we have the west view of the world and also east view of the world and also we can uh, kind of uh, look at this through the line and we have line of from 0 to 100 and maybe from 0 to 50 will be west and from 50 to 100 will be east and all also we have some concepts from 20 to 40 and also some concepts in 60 to 80 and it is different types of languages and uh, 
concepts of use of world. Some people believe that our Earth is kind of plate, and okay, it's their opinion, but uh, I believe in science, and science says that uh, it is kind of roundable, and uh, it is, uh, and we, if we look at this really like uh, like a spherical guys, and <laughs> it's true, and uh, I think that it is true, and uh, but actually in our imagination it could be anything. <laughs> actually our imagination could do even that our Earth is a donut, and uh, you can uh, you can create in your mind easily like here's the donut and also some of the rivers. Yes, uh, our our spherical donut and it is on the on the line and it is kind of providing as a for example monorail and it is going from the sun and uh, it is uh, how our Earth is going, guys. Uh, everything knows. <laughs> it's joking. You understand it, <laughs> but some people can say. And uh, okay, third method was uh, with creating YouTube channel and speaking and learning because when you speak you kind of repeat words all over again and uh, fourth concept the concept that I highly recommend to use it is uh Okay, culture, I was saying, ah, it is to find the, the, the sphere, industry that you want to learn your language in. For example, I right now learn more about physics and about the mathematics and uh, I kind of interested in it and also I learn uh, programming languages in a higher, higher dimension because uh, I understand them and uh, I was uh, study at the University of, uh, firstly, informatics, uh, information security and before in 2000, 2008, 2011, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, I was uh, doing a lot of uh, work in programming and also I was doing HTMLing and uh, creating some of the websites in these years of, uh, I was, how old I was, it was a long time ago, 14, 14, 14 plus years old I was and uh, even 13, 13 plus. 13, 14, 15, 16, and from this era I started to program and to do kind of uh, thinking in a programming way. And uh, even I early started to think in this way, but uh, I mean that I started to use code in my hobby, hobby time. And I started to be interested in, really, I hugely love and every time love to the coding, because I love games and the games are created by the coding, and I, I love them a lot, and our life actually it is a game. And uh, I found an approach that, but everybody knows this approach maybe, that if you learn something in the sphere, in a field that you love, then it, it will be better for you, because you have more connections in your mind about it, and the more connections you have, the better it is kind of uh, covering, covering better, and it, uh, it is kind of the process of stacking it, like you are... <laughs> You have boxes, yes, and it is easier to create a huge, huge tile and huge, like, uh, massive, massive mountain if you have already boxes. But if you don't have boxes, you need to collect boxes first, you need to create some shapes, you need to create some structure in another field, and actually it is all about our mind. If it is, if we have neurons in some topics, we have a lot of boxes when you can put some data, and uh, kind of here, 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 we have already created folders uh, if it is comparison for a computer we have come we have folders on our computer on our computer new folder uh, also second folder and etc and we have them in our topic and we already named them somehow and we all need to connect kind of dictionary for this for this language in this topic okay and okay put here put here easily already start structure we have but here if we if you learn new topic it is kind of maybe for you will be not really understandable because uh, in some topics so sometimes we don't have connections and we need to connect them and it is uh, kind of the game of association you can go to different ways of learning you can go to the what you love and uh, kind of connect this or you can connect to what you love with what you want to learn and kind of do association with it it is one of the ways to it is algorithms of it it is not there are not only right way to do this as uh, maybe you know quotes yes it's true we have different versions how to do this because even right now look I can do kind of uh, I use my hand and I can do this right and I can do this left and I can do this left and I can do this right and also it is effect of butterfly that if I will do this and this it, it could change my different things in my kind of joint and something will be another way and next time I will be dancing and uh, it will be more maybe attractive to another girl and we will marry each other and something like this and uh, <laughs> like this story 
story and uh, it, it could happen or maybe another way right now I do kind of circling and next time I will I will go to the mountain and it will be kind of I can I can hold my uh, hold my rope and it will be kind of easier because I started to right now to do this uh, movement and then to the another side of movement and I can do easily to go to the for example Titanic and I can do kind of <laughs> rolling my my wheel yes and <laughs> something like this okay everything is connected guys and uh, it is the way you need to find your own way it is uh, true it's true guys everything is individual sometimes we can we can kind of heritate from uh, somebody's concepts concepts but actually it is everything is individual and you need to find uh, kind of variations for you you can uh, take a structure from someone else and then you can can kind of invariate and uh, variate it in different form and change and to look at through this way through this perspective through this shape and uh, like through different from different angles to your to to your 3d model of learning and uh, look at this so thank you a lot for watching in Bristol daily go forward and Sorry, and everything will be fine in your life. Use quarter neons to to rotate your objects. P five uh, P P vectors also use and uh, imaginary units uh, from the math. Imaginary units. So what is it? It is uh, the root of minus one. It is i equals uh, root of minus one, and uh, it is what is uh, what's named imaginary unit. It's some of the complex numbers in the math. Actually, it is imagination. Imagination, guys. And uh, math is imagination and how you use it. And uh, you can apply uh, you can apply it everywhere. Also, if you understand what is a point, what's the dot, then you can understand everything in math. In math, actually, true. True. And if you can understand how pixels, uh, what's what's the pixel on a computer, then you can understand uh, you can understand how all the computers work, really. And uh, it is all about if you understand small particle, then you can understand everything, guys. So thank you a lot for watching. Universal Daily. Start from a small particle, and then it will be nice and amazing knowledge box, and also some of the huge mountain of knowledge. See you next time. Bye. -bye.